So we're looking for x and we are looking for particular values. So the values of x we want should be in the interval from negative 60 de 360 degrees up to 360 degrees. So the first thing is uh, work out the general solution. So if you want steps, number one, let's find the general solutions first. And then number two, we can get the particular solutions that we are looking for. Right, so let us use the same method that we used the other time. 5 sine of x is equal to 2. So we need to make sine x the subject. So sine x should be equal to 2 over 5. Then we take note, sine of x there is positive, and that means the value of x, the angle x could be in quadrant 1 or in quadrant 2, because that is where sine of x is positive. Right, then let's find the reference angle. We have a calculator, guys. Let's make it two. I think let's make it two decimal places. So we, it's shift sine of two over five. What do you get? Twenty three point five eight degrees. Okay. So the the reference angle is twenty three point five eight degrees. Uh, then our answers are from or are found in quad one and quad two. So if you go to quad one, you can now draw that angle 23,58. Right, you can also draw that same angle in quadrant two, make this angle between the line and the x-axis 23,58. Right, then we get our answers one from quad one, and the other one from quad two. So let's start from one. We measure them from zero degrees and all we need to do is measure up to there. How many degrees is that? 23,58. So that means theta, sorry it's x, x is equal to 23,58 degrees. But is that the only angle? What do we do? We can add as many 360s as possible. So plus k, 360 degrees. k is an element of the integers. Right, good. So th this is the, the general solution. Uh, I just want to separate them like this. OK, so that is the general solution for all the angles that we can get from quadrant 1. Now let's go to quadrant 2. Now in quadrant 2, starting from 0, you move like that. So this is the angle that we want. How many degrees is that? And that is still going to be x. So it's 180 subtract. Subtract 23,58, right? I mean, remember this is a straight line. That there is a straight line. Uh, and this angle there is 23,58. So the, the remaining angle there should be 180 subtract 23,58. But that is not going to be the only angle. We can add as many 360s as we want. So plus k360, where k is an integer. Uh, someone please simplify that for us. What is 180 subtract 23,58? 156, 14. Okay, 42 degrees. Okay, two decimals, that's fine. So that plus k360 degrees where k is an integer. Okay, so guys, we have our two general solutions. Uh, but we need to go further than that. We need to go further than that. We are looking for the particular solutions. Right. And k is an integer. Remember, k is an integer means k can be equal to 0, 1, or minus 1, uh, 2 or minus 2 and so on, right? 
So now to get the values of x, let's start with k equal to 0. Let's start from quadrant 1. So let's put k equal to 0 in quadrant 1. What answer do we get? You, 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 you're subbing that into the general solution. Right, so if k is 0, then the answer will be 23,58, right? Then you check, is 23,58 in your, in your range? Is it in the interval that we want? Right, 23,58 is there between negative 360 degrees and 360 degrees, so we need, we need this one. So that is what we get when k is 0. Uh, let's continue from quadrant 1. Uh, now let's put k equal to 1. Right, so you will get an answer clearly that is more than 360 now, right? But our interval says the answers should be from negative 360 to 360. So do I need to put k equal to 1? No. I don't need to because I'll get an answer bigger than 360, right? And that answer is outside our interval. If you put k equal to negative 1, so it's now 23,58. That will be subtract 360 degrees. Negative 300 and 336, comma, comma 42, comma 42 degrees. Okay. Uh, do we agree that that is within the range? It is within the interval. Minus 336,42 is there. So yes, we need to put k equal to negative 1. Do we need to try k equal to 2? Clearly we'll get something very big, right? Do we need to try k equal to negative 2? What, what would you get? You'll, you'll get an answer, but the answer will be outside the interval, right? So let's go to quadrant 2. Uh, do the same thing. I can just continue the list now. Uh, this is the general solution from quadrant 2. Let's put k equal to 0. What answer do we get? Is 156,5,42 in the interval? Right, so we need to put it down. We need that one. Okay. So that is for k equal to 0. Now, try k equal to 1. What do you think? If you put k equal to 1, do you see you get an answer bigger than 360? So there's no need to put k equal to 1 because it will give you an answer that is not in the interval. But try k equal to negative 1. So 156,42 subtract 360. I think that one will work. What do you think? Ne negative 200 and 203. 58. Yeah, and th this is within the range. Okay, uh, k equal to 2? It's too big, right? Uh, k equal to negative 2? Again, it's too big. So, so we're done then. So th these will be the four answers.